All right, let's talk about opening and closing presentations in PowerPoint. When it comes to opening up a presentation, there's a variety of ways to do that. We're going to look at that in this lesson. And then when you're done with a presentation and you've saved your changes, you need to be able to close it and be confident that all of your changes have been indeed saved. So here you can see we're still working with our blank presentation that we started a couple of lessons ago. We got familiar with our UI in the last lesson using this blank presentation. And now we're ready to open up an existing presentation. So we're going to close this one first. So if you don't have a new blank presentation open on your screen right now, you can go up to File and go down to New Presentation. That's going to create a new blank presentation, the default. And then up here in the top left corner, you'll see a little red button. That's a Close button. We can close a presentation by clicking that. If there are no changes that have been saved, it just closes it up. Now in here, I'm just going to click where it says Click to Add Title, and I'm going to type in the word Title, just so that there's a change in my presentation. If I go to Close this by clicking the Close button, or by going up to the File menu and choosing Close from here, or on the keyboard using Command W to close, that's the shortcut, I'll see a little pop-up that says, Do you want to save the changes you made to Presentation 3 in my case? So if you made a simple change to your presentation, you'll be seeing a similar message. It may not be Presentation 3. It depends on how many presentations you've already created. Your options are to not save and continue closing the presentation. Cancel will bring you back to the presentation so you can continue working on it. Or you can save it on the fly. I'm going to click Don't Save, which is going to close it up. And it takes me back to no presentation now, but still working in PowerPoint. Now when it comes to opening a presentation, there's a variety of ways to do that as well. Of course, if you're in Finder navigating to a folder and you see a presentation, you can double click it and it will launch PowerPoint with that presentation open automatically. But if you're in PowerPoint already, you can go up to File and Open. You can open a recently used presentation by going to Open Recent. Or, as we saw when we launched PowerPoint a few lessons ago, the Project Gallery appears and we can open from there. So let's go to the Project Gallery. And you can see I've got the ability to create new presentations using various uh, templates, including a blank PowerPoint presentation down here. But I do have the Open Other button down below. Clicking that button allows me to navigate, just like I would in Finder, to a folder containing any existing presentations. And you can see I've already navigated to the Lesson 1 folder of my exercise files where I've got one presentation introducing ECP. And notice the extension on our new PowerPoint presentations using version 2008. It's PPT with an X on the end. And that's just indicating that there's some XML technology built into these presentations now. So our new format is PPTX. And if you've got the exercise files, navigate to your Lesson 1 folder, click on that presentation to see a quick preview of the first slide, and then click Open. This will open up your presentation. You can see I've got a number of slides in this presentation, eight altogether. Down at the bottom right corner, it says I'm on slide one of eight. And with my navigation pane, I can go through the various slides in my presentation just by clicking them over here. So again, a couple of different ways to open presentations. We can go to File and Open. Command-O on your keyboard is the shortcut if you prefer to use your keyboard. You can open files from the Project Gallery. Or you can actually go to the Open button when you've got an existing presentation open already. There's an Open button over here on the Standard Toolbar. Either way, you're going to navigate to the folder where that existing presentation is and open it up by clicking it and then clicking the Open button.